everyone, we're going to use the Maclaurin series table to obtain the Maclaurin series for f of x equals x times cosine of 1 half x squared. All right, so basically um, here is our table for cosine of x. I'm going to write it bigger for you um, so you can see it. Um, all of these are on my uh, Facebook page if you ever want to save the photos. So writing it bigger, I have cosine of x equals the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of n times x to the power of 2n divided by 2n and then factorial. So when we just do uh, cosine of 1 half x squared, I'm just going to substitute in my x for x squared. So this is going to be the sum n equals 0 to infinity and we're going to have negative 1 to the power of n and then we're going to have times so for this x I'm going to substitute it in for 1 half x um, whoops, x squared to the power of 2n all divided by 2n factorial. Now simplifying this, this is going to give me the sum n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the nth power. Now um, this 2 is going to go in the denominator. So that's going to be 2 to the power of 2n times 2n factorial and this is going to be x to the power of 4n. All right, um, but what we really have is uh, x <coughs> times cosine of 1 half x squared. So when you do that, we're going to multiply this through by x. So you're going to get the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the nth power. Our denominator stays the same. But when you multiply this by x, so x to the fourth n times x to the first power, it's just going to be, um, so I'll put a 1 here. This is going to be times x to the uh, power of 4n plus 1 using your uh, loss of exponents. Now, uh, for our radius of convergence, this is all real numbers, so the radius of convergence is infinity. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.